Let us learn about the moon. Here's the Earth and that's the moon. The only satellite of the Earth. That means that it goes around the Earth. That's why we see it travel across the sky in day or night. It is approximately 385,000 kilometers away from Earth. If we decided to walk to it it would take us almost 10 years. The moon is about one quarter the size of Earth. The Earth is 80 times heavier than the moon. The moon's gravity is about one-sixth of Earth's gravity so you can easily lift a cow or jump very high. Unlike the Earth, the moon doesn't have any atmosphere. So it's a little weird there there's no air, you can't hear. It gets freezing up to minus 160 degrees Celsius in the shadow and steaming 120 degrees Celsius hot in the sunlight. The surface area of the moon is about 37.9 million square kilometers. It takes the moon about 27.3 days to complete one orbit around the Earth. The moon has a crust, mantle, and core, just like the Earth. The tallest mountain on the moon is called Mons Huygens and stands 15,420 feet, 4,700 meters, tall. The largest impact crater on the moon is called the South Pole Aitken Basin and is about 2,500 kilometers wide and 13 kilometers deep. The moon's phases are caused by the changing angles of the moon's position in relation to the sun and the earth. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth passes between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon. A total lunar eclipse can make the moon appear red, earning it the nickname Blood Moon. The moon and Earth's gravity cause high and low tides by bulging the oceans. The moon's gravity and other forces redistribute Earth's water, creating bulges on both sides of the planet. Tides rise and fall as land masses rotate through moon's bulges, affected by Earth's shape, continents, and ocean depth. Twice a month, the combined gravity of the sun, moon, and Earth creates spring and neap tides, coinciding with certain lunar phases. Earth's tidal bulges are slightly ahead of the Moon's position due to the planet's rotation. The Moon is tidally locked to the Earth, which means that the same side of the Moon always faces the Earth. The Moon's far side, which is never visible from Earth, is sometimes referred to as the dark side of the Moon. 